Hey guys, if you are looking for the best exercises to reduce clicking or grinding in your knees, watch this quick 10 minute workout. I'm gonna guide you through my favorite exercises for reducing the clicking in your knees. We're gonna focus on your hips, your ankles, and your core. There's no experience required, no equipment required. Just do your best and follow along. Now to get started, I just want you to kind of move up and down with your legs and do things that would make your knees click, okay? I just want you to move a little bit, see how that feels now. And we're gonna test this again at the end of the workout and you should notice a difference in how your knees feel. Even if they haven't eliminated the clicking entirely, hopefully they feel a lot better. We're gonna get started on the ground. Again, no equipment required. Just do your best and follow along. We're gonna start off with your feet in toward your butt, pressing down through your whole foot, so through your toes, the ball mound of your foot, your heels, your arms, your shoulders, head and neck can be relaxed. And now as you exhale, I want you to push down through your feet, squeeze your butt, and drive your hips up. Now, you wanna support yourself with your thighs and your hips here. Make sure that you're not just arching your back up and holding yourself with your back. For the purposes of strengthening your knees, getting rid of that clicking noise, that grinding, that annoying crunching sensation in your knees, you want to really focus on strengthening your hips here. So squeeze your butt, pretend like you're holding a piece of paper between your butt cheeks, so really clenching there, and then make sure that your hips, your knees, and your ankles are in a nice straight line with one another. So don't let your knees flare out. Push down through both feet, your whole foot. <laughs> And again, squeeze the thighs, squeeze your glutes, and squeeze your abs. Keep your feet active. Try to breathe in and out of your nose. And now from here, we're going to come to a single leg bridge. So keep your left leg, keep your hips, your abs exactly the same. And now extend your right leg out, hover it about six inches. You might notice that your right hip dips. If that's the case, it's just gonna take some time to build the strength, to build this proper technique. So just do your best here, keeping your hips level, driving down through that left foot, and then really squeezing your outer left hip and thigh. Breathe in and out of your nose, especially as it starts to get more difficult, breathe in and out of your nose. That's gonna help you maintain control. If you notice some cramping through your left thigh, that's normal, that will go away with practice as well. Let's go ahead and switch sides, plant your right foot, and then very slowly extend that left leg out, making sure that your hips stay pretty much the same. Relax your shoulders, your head, your neck on the ground. Press down through that right foot, and really pressing down through the heel and the ball mound of the foot. That's gonna help you engage your glutes. And again, that's what's gonna help with reducing the clicking in the knees. When we strengthen your hips, and we strengthen your ankles, that's going to help support the knees, and that's what we really want to do here. Drive up a little bit higher if you can. Continue to breathe in and out of the nose. Just one more breath, and guys, this stuff is hard, but in order to get rid of that clicking, we've got to build strength where we don't have it yet, so it should be hard. Now plant your left foot and slowly release down. Woo, all right. From here, we're gonna move up to a standing position, and that was one of the more intense exercises we'll do here. We'll give your hips a little bit of a break. We're gonna focus on your ankles. Again, ankles and hips and core. That's gonna help strengthen the knees. So start in a wide position, a wide-legged position, and you're gonna push into the outer edges of your feet. If you're less flexible, which most guys, 50 plus, are, even 40 plus, even me, 30 plus, when I, before I did yoga, was less flexible. So you're gonna bring your knees, bend your knees a little bit, push into the outer edges of your feet, lift your chest up, and then slowly hinge forward. And the important thing here isn't to get your hands to the ground and fold as deeply as possible, which is what you might do in a lot of typical yoga. But here, for the sake of your knees, I want you to focus on pushing into the outer edges of your feet. And if you can see it, kind of creating some space between the arch of your foot and the ground. So for me, that means creating a bit of a shadow between the arch of the foot and the ground. And you'll start to feel your outer shins stretching here. So again, reducing strain on the knees, getting rid of that clicking, comes down to strengthening the areas that support the knees. So by stretching the ankles here, that's helping to reduce strain on the knees. 
And now if you do feel more comfortable, we can fold a little bit here. Maybe the fingertips come to the ground. Maybe you need to bend the knees a little bit more to do that. But continue to push into the outer edges of your feet. Feel that stretch. Think about strengthening the arch of your foot. Squeeze your thighs. And now also stretching your hamstrings and your inner thighs. And that's also going to help reduce strain on the knees, improving hip flexibility. Now one more breath here. And then bend your knees a little bit. Bring your hands to your hips. Lift your chest up. And come back upright. OK, that was really good. So we worked on mobility. Now we're going to work a little bit more on your hip strength and also on hip mobility. So turn your feet out so your heels are in. And you know, if you were in a normal yoga class, you'd be told to turn your toes completely out. But since you're probably not as flexible as a yoga instructor, and I'm not as well, so I'm going to turn my feet out about 45 degrees. That way we can focus on proper technique and building some strength here. So feet turned out 45 degrees. Bring your hands inside your knees and squeeze your knees toward the back. Think about reaching your tailbone down and squeezing your butt. That's going to help you keep as neutral a spine as possible. It's also going to help you with strengthening your hips, your core, and opening up more through your inner thighs. Bring your arms out in front of you. Lean back slightly and breathe in and out of your nose. If you want to see what I look like from the side here, just so you can see that I'm not letting my back arch out behind me, my butt poke out, I'm, I'm reaching my tailbone down, squeezing my butt, squeezing my knees back as much as possible so I can really focus on strengthening my hips here. And as you exhale, you can sink deeper into this. And this is one of the more challenging exercises um, found in yoga, in my opinion. So if you're struggling with this, this takes a good amount of time to get comfortable in. It takes some time, it takes some consistency, but over time, you'll get better at it. Keep breathing. I'll give you one more breath here. And then slowly come up. All right. That was a tough exercise. Good job, guys. Now we're going to work on strengthening the outer thighs. And this is going to make a noticeable improvement in your knees. So you're going to stand on your right foot. You're going to bring your left leg out to the side, balancing on that foot. Squeeze your leg to the outside as much as you can. If you need to hold on to a wall or just hold on to something to make this easier so you don't have to worry about balancing, that's fine. So that leg comes out. You're going to feel your outer left hip working as you squeeze that leg out. Do whatever you need to do with your arms to help balance. It helps to focus on a non-moving point at eye level. So look at that same speck on the wall and stare there. And we're going to be here for about 30 seconds, really squeezing this outer hip to lift that leg. And getting these muscles in the hips active, that's going to help with reducing strain on the knees, and that's going to help with the clicking. You can also lift your arms up if you want to make this just a little more fun. And you've only got about 10 more seconds here. Try to slow down your breathing. That's going to help you maintain control over your body. And then slowly release, and we'll switch sides. So now standing on your left foot, you're going to abduct your right leg, squeezing that to the outside. Keep your toes facing out. Don't turn your toes to face or keep your toes facing straight out. Don't turn them to face down or whatever that direction was. No externally rotating the leg, just squeezing it out. Toes all facing in the same direction. And you're going to feel burning. You're going to feel that muscle shaking, working. As you lift that leg, that's good. That's a sign that we are building strength. And again, we need to do that. We need to build strength that your body isn't familiar with in order to get rid of that pain that you are familiar with. You've got about 10 more seconds here. And then slowly release. OK, we've got one more exercise. And this is going to focus on your ankles. We've done a lot of hip, a lot of ankles. One more thing with the ankles. And then we're going to retest and see how your knees feel. So bring your right leg forward, left leg back. Sink into a low lunge. Knee is over the ankle and the front foot. 
And then from here, grip the ground with your right foot. So really grab the ground with your toes, push down through the ball mound of your foot. And now you're gonna press your knee forward as much as you can until you feel stretching, or you feel the front of the shin working. So here, our goal is getting that knee forward, building mobility in the ankles. A lot of people don't realize that in order to reduce strain on the knees, we need to improve ankle mobility. And if you spend a lot of time sitting, if you wear dress shoes a lot, your ankles are not gonna be very mobile. So this is going to directly work on that. So grip the ground with your toes, maybe lift the heel a little bit, feel that front of the shin working, and lift your arms up. Breathe in and out of the nose. Your back leg stays active, toes are tucked. And if you wanna make this even more challenging, if you're feeling up to it, go ahead and lift that back leg, breathing in and out of the nose. This will make it a lot more challenging, but again, you need to build strength to get rid of that clicking. One more breath here. And then slowly release. Let's switch sides, left leg forward, right leg back. Press that left knee forward. Try to keep your left heel down. It can come up a little bit, but only let it hover an inch or two. And then stay active through that ball mound of the foot and through the toes. The right toes stay tucked. You're gonna squeeze your hips, building strength here. Something that we're focusing on here is building strength in extended range of motion, um, not just on passive flexibility, because that's where we see the most uh, noticeable results. And you can lift your arms up. If again, if you, if again you want to make this more challenging, lift that back leg. The heel is going to come down in the front leg when you do that. But we're trying to feel this muscle in the front of the shin, your anterior tibialis, building strength, pressing that knee forward, keeping the heel down. One more breath. And then release. Okay, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna retest now, so I want you to go through just some things that would normally make your knees crack. You can do a couple of squats. You can do a passive squat where you're sitting down on the ground. And just notice that your hips, are, your, hips your ankles feel a lot stronger. Your knees probably aren't clicking as much. And just imagine what you, if, how your knees would feel, how good they would feel if you did this stuff on a consistent basis. So I've got a program that works on all this stuff we just did. It's free, no credit card required. This is my seven day beginner yoga for men challenge. If you're interested, go to the first link in the top of the description here. Follow that link, enter your name, your email address, and you'll get the first lesson sent to you within minutes. Um, you're really gonna notice the results of these workouts, and it doesn't take long. It just takes a few days. And even now, we just did, what, 10 minutes? And your knees feel a whole lot better. So just imagine what would happen if you did that consistently for weeks or months. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this workout. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Manful Yoga. We've got new videos every Tuesday morning at 9 central. Um, leave a comment if you have some feedback. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video or found it helpful. And I look forward to seeing you on future videos.